look like you've been, re you have been rehearsing that oh! dance move for a while, have you? Well, I dance all the time, so technically, yeah, really no. Okay. So, yeah. Congratulations, Diamond. Tell us, you've been getting better and better every year, always pushing that threshold for yourself. What does this mean to you in your career? I'm just so happy that I can give a return back to my community, everybody who supported me. People from the Alamo Valley, people from Kentucky, Missouri, um, Colorado. They've all invested a lot into me, and all I want to do is give back to them. Give them a win, give them a plaque, maybe copy this and send it to all of them. Like, the community's big, they're very supportive, and I really, I'm so glad to have this. I mean, do you ever surprise yourself you've only been doing this for about six years? No. No, it's like, kind of like from the start, there's been a lot of greatness. My first year wrestling, I became a California State Champ. Um, within two years, I became a two-time college national champ when I went to college, but right after that, um, and then I moved to the train series, all been success because I've been very adamant about what I want and who I want to be around. It's only the greatest and the best. Are you just a quick study? Heck yeah, I'm a sponge. Ask a lot of questions, I'm not afraid to ask a lot of questions. I don't, care if it makes me, I don't care if it makes you look stupid or anything. I'm just a person who doesn't know who wants to know. What did you ever ask of Adeline Gray since that's who you're replacing? Bro, I asked her for her lace technique because it's so nice. She wins a lot of matches worldwide with those things. And she gave me some advice at one of the camps. I've been using it ever since and it's been working like it's crazy. So yeah. Diamond, I mean, you talked yesterday about building that lead but losing it, mm -hmm. and making changes. So you don't want to share those changes. I can share them now. Yeah, let's talk talk a little bit about the changes you made. Um, it's just understanding that wrestling's wrestling, you know. Um, when I first went to Liberty Training Center, I wanted to be the best of the best, and I was like, kind of got that mentality like I was already there. So I was getting 10-0 matches and like taking people with laces and the other. But then opponents like Elena and Kylie came through and showed me that I'm not all that. There's still more I need to learn. So I went on to learn more. Uh. Uh. Uh, Go on, homie. Uh, I, I, I have a stutter sometimes. That's but fine. So remember ye yesterday you were joking around. Yeah, tonight you were kind of dancing. But when you get on the mat, you kind of have a flip that switches. Uh, how were you able to kind of change your mind into, okay, I'm going from joking into competitor mode? You know, wrestling is my life. It's all I really do. Um, aside from my schooling and getting my master's. So, it had, it, wrestling is really hard. It's grueling. And you have to make it fun or else you don't see it in the game. So I know, I've practiced for years how to turn on and off that switch, and it's really easy, and it's really nice that I get to practice all the time, being in a room with Olympians and um, everybody. You've made a big change for yourself going uh, from the Olympic Training Center back to college at University of, of Cumberland. Yes. Uh, tell us, how has that made uh, a, a difference in your training, your mindset, and of course coming into this final act? When I talk about community and the people who've helped me, I'm talking about the college girls and teammates and the coaches with their positive attitudes. and. I missed that for a part of my season last year. I realized I came out to myself and I said, you know what? I need a team. I need friends who are going after the same goal as me. And COVID made that very sparse for me where I was at before. But now I feel that really good medium to where I get that team, but also get that hard training. And that's really, you just have to establish what you need and what you want and go and get it. So yeah. You made the uh, senior world team, obviously. Yes. Congratulations. So I'm also, senior world team member Diamond Gill for the 2022. <laughs> and y'all can't take the title away from me. Yep. Okay. Also, you're 23, though. Oh, yeah! Right. Also, you're 23. I'm a double team! Wow, 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 my gosh! Okay, it's great. Congratulations. It's great! Are you, are you planning on going to both, or yes. you can make that decision later? Yes. Yes. Because right. I decided to go to Pan Am this year, so I knew that I would have to take home everything, being in a weight class where there are a lot of young girls. So I was like, yeah, no, I want to be on both world teams. I want the prestige and the coverage and this and the other, because I work damn hard for it. So I want people to see that, and the only way you can do it is by being, being number one. So, yeah. you, you put on a show with wrestling, but also the, the dance at the end. Was Yo, that, I what, realized, was that planned? Or no, I thought they do it as an outro song, like our intro, I guess. But I heard Sierra. I said, that's the song I chose. And then people were cheering me on. I was just getting it. I was like, yeah, yeah, I was feeling it. It was nice. And it just kept going. I was like, okay, guys, you guys don't need to do all that. But I, I, I would have gone more. Yeah. yeah. Yes, thank you guys. Is that all the questions? Because I want to go hug my baby over there. Do it. Okay, thank you guys. Congratulations, Congratulations. Dinah. Thank you.